channel, channel, channel. Whenever you niched it down, 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 because you talked about that a moment ago. Whenever you niched it down and all of that, what made you want to niche it down to? Hey, hey, I'm a, I'm doing Geeks podcast now. I'm doing your player too, and I want to niche it down to video games and helping other creators. Where'd that come from? Well, I mean, part of it is I, I knew it was something I could reliably do, right? Because I like there were periods of my life where it, it, there would be like an ebb and a flow to my interest, right? Because usually, if I get excited about a new thing, there has always historically been I would get really into it and hit it really hard for anywhere from like four to eight weeks, and then I would abandon it just as quickly. So I knew it was something that I was going to have to reliably be interested in if I was going to keep making content yeah. about it. Like one example I'll give you is like um, probably like twenty. 12 2013 i was really into magic the gathering like hardcore uh, like, we'd go to friday night magic I, I would go to like anytime they would drop new blocks i would go to the launch or the release parties for those like i was real into it and then one day i just woke up and i was like yeah i don't want to do it anymore so i knew i couldn't have a situation where i was like i couldn't build a brand or a channel around something like magic if i knew i was gonna you know there was a good chance that based on my own past behavior that i would just abandon it uh but gaming was something that i knew would never really go away and the other and the other part of it in terms of like why i wanted to help people out but one, I think that's just a good thing to do, right? But two is I, I have a lot of empathy for it. There is like a, a stereotypical loner sort of archetype, right? And usually a lot of those people can be really into things like high fantasy or science fiction or yeah. video games. And it breaks my heart to think that some people I've met are, are some of the most brilliant people I've met in my life, and they're terrified to speak or to put themselves out there. And, yeah, I mean, I, I still struggle with that, right? Like when you and I were talking before the show started, I mentioned like my anxiety, like, the imposter syndrome flavor of it is something that makes it hard for me sometimes like if i step away from streaming a little bit it can be hard for me to get back in because i will have all sorts of like negative intrusive thoughts like like oh you you weren't that good at streaming to begin with or nobody's gonna want to watch your stuff or you know you need to fix this and it's a bunch of nonsense it and i know it's not like logically i can speak about it now but when you're in the moment that's a hard thing to deal with but it's something that I've put out is like that lynch <coughs> for somebody where if they're trying to get over that hump of like self-confidence or if there's just like one tiny thing they can't quite figure out how to do and they want to be able to do it. Yeah. And I can provide that. I love that. Like that's more important to me than, than you know, like the numbers. But like obviously I, I've spoken before, like I definitely want to do this full time someday. And that's, you know, everyone's journey is, is going to be happening at a different rate. Like you might have a viral video that blows up and then you know how to manage that sort of success effectively and leverage it into something where you could go full time and, and make that kind yeah. of revenue. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a long, slow, arduous grind, or it might be somewhere in the middle. For me, I think it's somewhere probably in the middle. Um, but I, I've never been shy about the fact that like, yes, I don't think there's anything wrong with creators making money on the platform either, right? I think I think where it gets dangerous is the ethicality involved in how you make that money. Right. If you're making a bunch of type videos, if you're misleading people, um, if you're you know trying to get money from people and you're not delivering on the promises that you made, like with a Kickstarter or something like that, like that's a bad spot to be in. But fundamentally, like I don't feel bad when I get ads on checks, you know? Yeah, understandable, understandable. You know? Yeah, because I mean anybody's a creator, if you do this long enough and you really enjoy it, enjoy it you would yeah. like to see some kind of uh, I guess profit or benefits or something 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 positive come from it, you know. Right, and for me, it's not even about the money. I'm not like, ooh, I want to get that yeah. Lambo money. It's not that. Yeah, it's I understand. That, you know, like, money is not fundamentally evil. It's like, it's like how you use it might be evil, but I mean, for me, the goal is time more than money, right? Uh, the reason I want to go full time is like, I have a day job. Obviously, I have to be a responsible adult and pay bills and you know uh, things like that. But you know, it, it's making money on a platform like this gradually like if it starts as a side hustle and eventually evolves into something full-time i think that's a wonderful thing and it also uh you know frees up the time to make more videos that could be more helpful like i have some really big goals for the channel this year uh sorry not to like get off the topic here but oh that's fine not, go ahead I, mean, I guess it's shameless self-promotion but it has a point so one of the things that i'm going to do this year is i want to start some series uh where i would do like basically four to six videos in a row over a period of a few weeks uh where i would cover something that's very specific like do you need a website for your channel? If so, here are some of the steps you can go through to do that. Something that was uh, really big on like technical detail and information that kind of broke it down in a very easy to follow way for people. But, you know, I would love to make stuff like that all the time, but it's like, you know, there's only so many hours in a day. So yeah. that that's my personal motivation. Mm -hmm.